Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about levels of measurement. The first level of measurement we want to discuss is nominal, which is also called categorical. These are variables that are named. One is not necessarily greater or less than the next. For example, breed of dog like pug, bulldog, or Bernese mountain dog. Pizza toppings like cheese, pepperoni, sausage, pineapple. Gender, male and female. Colors, red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple. And cookies like chocolate chip, peanut butter, snickerdoodle. Now, If you notice, these things are just named. Um, a pug is not necessarily better than a Bernese Mountain Dog. Um, red is not necessarily better than purple. Um, chocolate chip cookies are not necessarily better than snickerdoodles. Although, you know, everyone has their favorites. But as far as measuring goes, we cannot say that females are better than males or pepperoni is better than sausage. That doesn't, it doesn't make sense to say things like that. So a nominal variable are, is a variable that's just named. Now this might help a little um, as far as a visual goes to remember this. Uh, numbers assigned to nominal variables in research have no meaning or weight. For example, if you look at these numbers. Now I'm not a sports person. I'm just gonna. I'm, I think these are maybe basketball or something like that. Jerseys. I don't know. But the point being here, these numbers assigned to a person. They, they're not saying that this person is better than this person because this person is number one and this person is number 19. These are just arbitrary. They're random numbers and they're assigned to these people, but they, they don't hold weight or value. And that's the same thing in research. If you gave, uh, all, when you enter your information in SPSS for males and females, you could assign, uh, when you go to run tests, you can assign males to be in group one and females to be in group two, but it doesn't mean that males are one better than females or, fem you know, females are one better than males. Either way, it doesn't, that's, meaningless um, because you could you could actually switch them and put females as one and males as two and it would give you the same type of results. Now the next step up is an ordinal uh, variable. These indicate order or ranking but they do not tell us the difference between the rankings. The distance is not meaningful. If you look at this little example up here uh, hot, hotter, and then hottest. If you can tell, there's a huge jump between hotter and hottest. Um, this is kind of the idea. The, there's not uh, intervals between these that are equal. So for example, if you have ranking in the contest for first, second, and third, doesn't mean that first place is twice as good as second or three times as good as third because you could, all, you could actually have first place scored perfect 100, second place might have scored a 90 which was only 10 away, third place might have scored 60 which is actually 40 uh, less than first place and they would still be ranked in that in that order. Now, low, medium, and high is another example. These like this have no numeric value. Another example would be uh, the usual Likert scale that you see that says dissatisfied, slightly dissatisfied, neither satisfied nor dissatisfied. Slightly dissatisfied and satisfied. These are technically ordinal, um, this is a technically an ordinal measurement um, and level of education is also another example here. Elementary school, some high school and so on all the way to PhD there's no real uh, interval of differences between these um, these listings here and like I said same way with the Likert scale you you really don't know what the distance is between these things 
Now here's a, a visual. Um, if something's rated very low, low, medium, high, and very high, um, this is talking about risk value of something. Um, you can tell that there's there's not an equal interval between these things. So that's ordinal is is order in ranking, but there's no um, necessary equidistant um, value between each one of the rankings. Now here's another visual order order in all things. Uh, these variables have order and rank, but the distance is not equal. And this is kind of a good visual of it. Um, first place you can see is higher than second and third, but second and third look about the same level. Um, second might be a little higher than third here, uh, but you can tell that there's a big difference between first and second. Now, interval is another uh, another level of measurement. Interval has order, but the distance between the scores is equivalent and meaningful. Zero is also meaningful. For example, Fahrenheit and Celsius are measured on an interval scale. 100 degrees is twice as hot as 50 degrees. Now, interval, we're also going to say level of satisfaction. I realize that we just had that on ordinal, but in research, people typically use the Likert scale as an interval um, interval measuring scale. They would they will give weight to these um, to these names. The dissatisfied might get one, whereas satisfied might get five. So they're making an assumption that these things are one away from one another in order to use the statistics that you would normally use on an interval scale. So for for research purposes, this is used all the time. However, technically, it is an ordinal variable. But it's close enough. Now, ratings on a numeric scale rate something from 0 to 10, 0 being the worst you've ever seen and 10 being the best. That would be an interval you would expect people to be rating it um, one away from the, the next. But zero would also be meaningful. That means when somebody rates something zero, you know it means something. It's, it's, if they rate it that, it's not um, the absence of something. It's actually saying the worst is zero. So pulling apart interval, you can see that interval means in between are equal values. Now keep in mind, there's no true zero. An interval zero has meaning. Zero degrees is a real temperature, a really cold temperature. Finally we have the ratio scale. Ratio has order, equal intervals, and finally a true zero. Here's some examples. Length and height. Now two inches would be twice as long as one inch, and zero inches is the absence of length or height. It means no length or height. Weight um, is another example. Um, two pounds is twice as heavy as one pound. And zero pounds is no weight. It's the absence of weight. Finally, time. Two seconds is twice as long as one second. And zero seconds is no time. So these things make sense to be on the ratio scale because they are equidistant, they have um, intervals that are equidistant, but they also have a true zero. Now the ratio scale, um, I've, I've, it's a little different because of the way the letters, letters fall, but I've, I've pulled these apart and color coded them, and I have that the ratio requires interval and true zero. Because you have intervals, but you also will have a true zero point, right? Zero meaning that a zero does stand for zero something. It's not um, not meaningful to have like zero pounds doesn't really mean any any pounds. Now here's some characteristics. I found I found a table 
characteristics of Google Images, but it, it wouldn't work on my on my slide. However, I converted it into something that would work. Uh, here we see that all of these have some classification and ordinal interval ratio have order. Interval and ratio have equal intervals and ratio is the only one with the true zero point. So having a table like this is, is a good idea to keep handy if you ever have questions about what types of measurement you're doing. Now here are some ways to use these types of data and this I, I really feel this is something important that people um, should have handy also. Um, you can use mode counts and frequency for all these types of um, scales. Median, minimum, maximum, and range you cannot use for nominal but you can for the rest. And mean variance and standard deviation are only meaningful for in interval and ratio scales. Basically these different types of data are used differently in, in science the things that the statistics that we can use on them are different. So in summary, nominal data are just categorical. Ordinal indicates order but no meaningful interval. Interval these have order but also equal distance between one another. Ratio has order equal distance between intervals and a true zero point. And these data are basically used in different ways in statistics, and that's why they're important to learn.